Former Mexican President Vicente Fox has been one of President Trump's biggest critics, saying Trump doesn't know the difference between running a nation and running a business. His new book, Let's Move On, Beyond Fear and False Prophets, is calling for unity. Welcome to the New York Stock Exchange. Mr. President, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, it's not, nothing personal with Trump except some of his proposals, some of his public policies that affect severely 120 million Mexicans. We've been offended. So I like to speak about Mexico, Mexicans. Today the stock exchange grew 1% in Mexico, new high record also. So we're moving us North America. In North America, we're totally linked yeah. together. Here's my thing. If this if this book, if this whole thing came out right when the president took office, I think people would go, you're right, he's a lunatic, this is going to be horrible. Now a year's passed. Look at the market. Look at the U.S. economy. His policies haven't actually been that extreme with a couple of exceptions. I, does it, are your worst concerns really still valid? Well, <clears throat> economy is a human thing, and that's what is not working. Compassion, respect for others, uh, being a president for everybody, not for a few. So the economy is moving. It's not Trump. You know better than I. It's the corporations. It's the world economy now running at a pace of close to 5% increase. But I welcome anything that improves the economy. It improves the economy of Mexico. And that's what and NAFTA... Trump should be great for Mexico. <laughs> that's what NAFTA <laughs> is all about. Yeah. It was created for that purpose, so that we progress the three of us so that we become the strongest, most competitive block of economies is in the it world. Is such a big deal if he builds the wall? Or is it simply that <clears throat> Mexico doesn't want to pay for it? Is it such a big deal if he builds the wall? What do you think? I mean, this nation has the right to build as many walls as you want. My only advice is why to waste, to waste 30 billion U.S. dollars in building a wall. Walls historically have never worked the Chinese wall, the Berlin wall. So I don't see the use of doing it. There are many more intelligent ways of bringing order to the border, of bringing security to the border. And that's a proposal that is sitting in Congress, in U.S. Congress, presented by Senator McCain, Senator Kennedy, yep. bipartisan, and President Bush administration, and my administration. There you have the answer. To migration. Michael? The current Mexican leadership, uh, we've heard reports, well, look, they have to at least expect the possibility that the U.S. withdraws from NAFTA. What do you think their, their basic uh, stance is right now in terms of these negotiations and where they're going to go? Well, we want to stay in NAFTA. We want an improved NAFTA. But if we are kicked out of it, we have choices. China. U.S. is only 20% of the world America. economy. What are those other China, choices? Yeah. China. Uh, you India, think China's really better China. for the world than America? It's a huge market. 80% of the global market is not United well, you're States. Talking, you're, you're talking about all these things that are important, you know, for people to treat each other well, governments to treat their people well. So you're going to turn to China if America isn't a good partner. If we don't have a choice, of course we will. Like Brazil, South America did, they have trade agreements with China. We are joining the TPP that Trump rejected, but for him. That's his decision. I don't know why he has to sacrifice U.S. corporations, global corporations. I don't know why he has to sacrifice people, American people, by not joining in. Trading is a win-win situation. Trading is a creator of wealth. Look at China. They trade more than anybody else, and they grow more than anybody else. So trading is good for nations, and we should keep expanding, opening the market. And if he takes United States out of the YTO, the corporations will not be investing. Corporations are not going to be growing in the stock exchange. He's going counter reasonable, uh, known experience, economic policies. Well, we don't want you to totally lose your voice here. <laughs> no, I, know, I, not. I know it's been a long day, but we very much appreciate your thoughts and thanks for joining us here. Okay, let me just promote the book. I'm launching a book today by the name of uh, Let's Move On. It's and a great is. book. Brings you to reflection, tells you a lot of things that I have experienced in 75 years of life. So please buy it, please read it, and you will enjoy it.
Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.